Uh, I want to talk about indicators a little bit more and for this example I have taken methyl orange indicator and it has a organic structure like this in in acidic color which is red it it looks like this structure and when it you remove one hydrogen from it in the base it's yellow and the structure changes into this now you shouldn't worry about the organic nature of it but eventually you have to be able to look at transition of electrons and how color is changing so it goes from red in acids to yellow in bases and I want to talk about it because sometimes well definitely you need to be able to write the generic equation for an indicator which is H indicator equilibrium sign H plus to indicator minus and many times you will be challenged to write equilibrium expression or equilibrium constant and you have to be able to do it even for an indicator so you write k and you can put subscript a for acid or simply i and d for indicator then again it's products over reactants which is concentration of hydrogen times the anion of the indicator concentration wise divided by concentration of h i n indicator in acidic version of that then one other thing I want you to realize is how do we pick and choose indicators? Uh, methyl orange, orange has a pKa of 3.7 and the range of color goes uh, pH 3.1 red to pH 4.4 yellow. And this is good for a salt that is acidic. When you have a strong acid such as nitric acid reacting with a weak base with, such as ammonia or amine related. This will give you uh, ammonium nitrate NH4NO3 and it's aqueous so there is no H2O needed to write. It's already within the body of uh, this product. Uh, and the pH should be less than 5 uh, somewhere in the um, 5 or 5.5. Now this indicator uh, will do the following. Uh, first of all, let's just realize how do you pick and choose the indicator. At half point, uh, when this indicator is changing color, as you add acid to this solution, eventually you go from yellow to orange and then immediately to red. So there is a range. Uh, now what, what we can do is at half point when there is an orange color here, so the intersection of the yellow and red there is orange at let's just call it half point uh, through color change you should agree at this point that HIN is equal to IN minus at that point concentration of indicator in acidic version is equal to concentration of indicator in basic version if that's the case then this equation becomes simpler k indicator is simply equal to h plus if you take negative log of both sides you have pk indicator equals ph and i write it in reverse order pk indicator now uh, there is a rule of thumb that the color we not that sensitive to see this color so there is plus and minus one and that's how you pick and choose your indicator and if the pH is three, uh, pK of indicator is 3.7, you can subtract one and you come to acidic domain and you can add one and you come to basic domain, uh, sort of in a rough version. And when neutralization takes place, uh, as you're adding strong acid to this, eventually you go from yellow to red and that's the moment you stop and you are in this neighborhood and you're almost in equivalence point and this is your end point. So end point is not necessarily equal to equivalence point, but you're roughly in that neighborhood to say that you have been neutralized. Since the vertical line is extremely instantaneous and quick, and we are interested in the volume, it doesn't make that much of a difference in your calculations, and you cannot include it as source of error. But uh, to pick and choose the right indicator, you have to be in the sort of neighborhood of equivalence point. So if you realize it is a, an acidic salt because you are strong acid and a weak base, go after indicators such as methyl orange, which has a low pKa.